Welcome to Create, Build, Manage, the Entrepreneur's Toolbox. Welcome to Create, Build, Manage on Biz TV. I'm Kelly Phillips. Today, we have a great guest for you. Brittany Belts will tell us how Thought Leader helps experts, professionals, and entrepreneurs clarify their message and spread their story to millions. Stick around, we'll be right back with more Create, Build, Manage on Biz TV. a seasoned coach dedicated to empowering keynote speakers to conquer their dream stages and captivate audiences everywhere. Please welcome Brittany Belts. And Brittany, I've got to ask, what type of people do you coach? I would say the easiest answer is I coach people in the expert space. So um, anywhere from coaches to consultants, I've also worked with uh, motivational speakers, past NFL players, anybody who has a really awesome message to share from the stage, I'm ready to work with them. Talking about messages, what are some of the messages or the messaging uh, tips that you look for when you're talking to speakers? Really, I'm looking just for anything that that is empowering or life-changing, that solves a problem, right? As long as there's no hate connected to it, there's a need for it in the world. And I have a firm belief that anybody could be a speaker, that everybody has a unique life experience that they can share. And it's obviously up to them whether or not they want to put that, um, you know, in the public eye on a stage. But I have a firm belief that everybody can go through something like a process that we, that we take our clients through and that I've, I've taken people through and really pull out this unique story of their life with, with pieces that, we can all learn from. So it's really cool. I think everybody has, um, you know, a life-changing story inside of them. It's just a matter of if they want to pull it out or not. How do you pull that out of those folks? Because I think most people would love to get on a stage and tell their story and have audiences, you know, captivated by what they have to say. But how do you pull it out of even the shyest people? Um, at Thought Leader, and I've become even more familiar with this process since joining their team because initially I've always worked with people that already knew what their message was. Uh, but Thought Leader is really cool. I've gotten to work with people that just kind of had a little bit of a desire to share a story and they were able to come in and work with our team and then develop some of them TED, TEDx talks that have reached millions, which is wild. And that process looks like uh, we actually take people through uh, a framework and we start with this thing that we call idea clarity. And we take them through thinking back to moments in their lives and themes and things that they learned and connecting those themes. And through a series of workshops, um, we are able to really help people see that their story is so unique and so brilliant. And then we take people through workshops where they get comfortable putting together the copy and just talking. And we have a team of coaches that help people to feel comfortable delivering their message. And by the end of it, we have people that are that once were maybe really scared to even think about putting a story out there, eager to get on a stage anywhere around the world and share their message. You mentioned thought leader. What is a thought leader for those folks who have no clue what it is? So Thought Leader is a public speaking training company. Uh, we have a proven track record of TEDx success. And so uh, and now recently in past years, what we've been building is so many success stories with clients around growing their businesses and their speaking careers as well. So we're kind of a one-stop shop for Thought Leaders, which is, is a very appropriate name for our company. So we help people go from having a really small idea to you know potentially scaling a business to, to millions of dollars a year. And so our hope is to be able to meet somebody anywhere that they're at on that spectrum and help them to really see what's possible when they put their message out into the world. Talk to us a little bit about the TEDx Talks. So what are some of the subjects? I mean, most people are familiar with TED Talks, but what are some of the, the top talks, the, the ones that really get folks to clicking that link? Um, I feel like low 
recently, some of the top talks have been around things that are really big topics that we're looking at now, like adult ADHD and overcoming burnout and all of these things that are really hot topics. Um, it's cool to see clients to be able to come in and and have a message that's on their heart that ends up helping people to understand how they function as a human being and maybe able to, you know, in in 10 to 13 minutes, learn how to work through a problem that they felt like only they um, were feeling. So I would say some of the top talks are ones that are just relatable. Uh, it doesn't have to be this huge story of adversity and overcoming. It doesn't have to be, you know, the Disney story, right? <laughs> it can be something as simple as, um, um, you know, overcoming uh, small issues that you have with completing a task, um, how to be better about keeping things tidy. Uh, some of the most relatable and I would say most viral TEDx talks are ones that just help us solve everyday problems. And are are those talks people that other people have heard of or are they kind of like no names, but they really have this cool idea and they can relate it to other people where the audience is going, I get that. I'm just like that. Absolutely. I'm so glad you asked that. Uh, a TEDx talk, most of the time, the TEDx locations prefer that they aren't working with people that are household names. They actually want to work with people just like you and me that have a unique idea that they want to share from a platform. A lot of TEDx locations actually also have a built-in uh, talk performance element to coach you on your talk performance. So the clients that work with us at Thought Leader, they're getting our coaching. And then depending on where they land their TEDx talk, they might be receiving other coaching as well, because it's more about the transformational idea or the aha or something that's never been heard of or thought of in that way before. Um, it's more about that than it is a celebrity or someone with with status. To me, I think uh, I'm just like you. Everybody has a story. It's just a matter of getting them to open up and tell that story. And, and they've got to be comfortable enough to do it. You were mentioning the classes. How long does it typically take one person to get from coming in the door thinking, oh, I think I want to do this, to being a real good motivational speaker or a speaker in general? When we're looking at our TEDx program, we have had clients go from the very beginning of like idea clarity and noodling through all of their ideas to landing their TEDx talk within a month. <laughs> We've had clients land it faster and, and of course, you know, take a little bit longer. We'd say on average, it takes about three months to, to land your TEDx talk potentially and to feel comfortable, right, in delivering. And chances are when you land a TEDx talk, you have a good bit of time to then prepare. So if you are one of the ones that lands it really quickly and you're like, oh no, I'm actually not ready to perform, chances are you have a little bit of buffer time to get ready um, to perform. But when working with speakers for as long as I have, I feel like it. there's not really a timestamp that you can put on it. Some people just have it, right? Some people just have that natural born ability to captivate an audience. And for other people, it's it, that's a little bit more of, of a skill that and a muscle that they have to, to grow and exercise. Uh, but I feel like with the right training and the right coaching and always remaining teachable, um, I feel like that's a huge thing. And all of the, the biggest and best speakers I've worked with, they're all teachable. They're all always growing. They're part of masterminds and programs and they always want feedback. And so, um, you know, I feel like you have the opportunity in a few short months to really show yourself what you're capable of as a motivational speaker. What are some of the, the examples of the biggest impacts people can make if, if they work through their challenges and, and come up with what their story is, so to speak? We have seen it time and time again from our clients uh, in particular that their small message opens up a door that I don't know if some are even ready to open up. Um, those that just thought they had a small message end up with thousands of views, uh, incoming leads and excitement to how do I work with you? How do I, um, you know, how do I how do I implement what you do in my life? Do you coach? Do you have a program? Um, which is which is something that really has helped us to to build our other tools, right? Making sure our people are ready for for that. Um, that they're ready, that they have a coaching program, that they have something built in. Um, so when people do come to them after after seeing their talk and after relating to them and wanting to work with them, that they have something in place for that. Um, a lot of 
people, I don't think also are prepared for the amount of times that they're going to be asked to deliver that talk. So, uh, so many of our clients have been asked to deliver their TEDx talk uh, at corporate companies or um, on conference stages as keynote speakers. So going from, you know, paying to be a part of a program that helps them to just do a lifelong goal of sharing their story to now being paid thousands of dollars to share that story um, on physical stages around the world, which is really cool. And then we have clients that come to us just to help grow their business. They're, they're coaches and they're consultants. They're growing their business. And what's really cool is, is the business is here, the speaking is here. And as they do both, they get closer and closer to being intertwined. And so the business supports the speaking and speaking actually uh, brings, brings a cause to, to have a business sometimes as well. So um, you could absolutely come in ready to just scale your coaching business and end up <laughs> end up being asked to speak uh, as well. So so we love being able to help take people on both of those journeys. Brittany, I have lots more questions. So if you will, just stay tuned and uh, we'll be right back with more from Brittany next. back with Brittany Belts to talk a little bit more about empowering keynote speakers to conquer their dream stages and captivate audiences everywhere. And Brittany, one of the things I didn't ask you earlier, but I want to now is a little bit more about your background, how you got involved in all of this. It's actually something that I, I tell people all the time I was thrown into. I had no knowledge of this space. Of course, I've, I'd heard of Tony Robbins and um, you know I knew that people spoke and were paid to speak, but I had no attachment to it at all. I actually have a nonprofit background and um, and a little bit of like a theater background. So uh, not much to do with, with uh, public speaking at all. But I actually started working with a company during the pandemic and um, saw how many messages people had on their heart that they wanted to get out. And I don't know if it was just the um, just the beginning of the pandemic and people not really knowing what was going on in the world, but it was cool to see over 500,000 people um, gathering in the community that I was a part of just to want to share their story and, and put their story out into the world and knowing that their message actually uh, really mattered. And so it was the, at that point that I actually decided, I think I want to work with speakers. I think I found my space. And um, from that point, I started working with speakers as an agent within an agency. And then I started training speaking teams on how to be their own agent. And so through that, I've worked with hundreds of speakers, um, both brand new and high caliber um, in an elite agency. And now through Thought Leader, I'm able to to still continue to work with people um, on all different parts of the plane. And so really, I, I continue to say I was thrown into it. And speaking is an ever changing and what I'm finding, uh, it's quickly evolving. And it's and it's, um, it's a it's a unique landscape. Currently, it's not what it used to be. And so I love being able to, to know that I came in at a time to not have a really strong bias as to what speaking used to look like. And I feel new and fresh in this space. And I feel like that newness and that freshness has helped me work with seasoned speakers who are like, my old coaches were stale. I feel like they didn't know what was going on. They don't know about social media. They weren't relevant and you just feel fresh. And so I feel like that's because I genuinely am a little bit more fresh in this space, but um, it was kind of like drinking from a fire hose these past <laughs> few years working with speakers. And um, I've, I've learned so much along Along the way, even while teaching. Do you feel like you have grown a, and changed inside on how you have you approach this a, and what you do for folks? Absolutely. I think, you know, at first it felt like, okay, a lot of imposter syndrome, like I don't really know what I'm doing. I really enjoy it. I happen to be good at it. And now I feel like I'm really thriving. I of course we all struggle with imposter imposter syndrome. And I think it's something I coach people on all the time. Um, but I really feel like in my own 
And um, just working with the team that I work with too at Thought Leader, we we all are very much empowered to just be in our zone of, of genius and um, to, to give and deliver as much value as possible, which is something that I haven't experienced until working with this team. And so I feel like that's also too really empowered me to like look deep within and working with people that have empowering stories and are constantly sharing their stuff with me. I, I feel like I'm able to learn from my clients every day. I work with professionals all the way from the medical field to the metaphysical, right? So I'm working with people in all spaces. And so I just feel like all day while being able to help people and teach them, I'm also able to learn from them. So it's this really cool energetic exchange that happens when you work with uh, people in, in the expert space. Maybe there's somebody out there that that's saying, you know, I really don't think I want to dabble in being a speaker or doing a TED talk, but I do have this job interview or I, I do have to make this toast and I don't know what to do. Are there a couple of quick tips that you could give our viewers? Mm, good question. Uh, absolutely. I think, I think that one of the, one of the biggest things is, is our breath and allowing ourselves to be comfortable with taking a moment and being silent. I think a lot of times we feel like we have to fill the space with, with words. And that's something I've had to learn is, is just to be comfortable taking a breath, allowing things to just settle and then speaking. So if you're giving a toast at a wedding and it's, and it's emotional or you're having an interview and you're nervous, like remember to breathe and, and also to remembering that we're all humans. And we're all a part of the human experience. And so one thing that I empower all of my speakers to do is to be human. No one relates with a perfect robot who never <laughs> messes up and never makes a mistake and never says ums and ahs or trips over their words. But a relatable speaker is someone that everybody wants to get to know more. And so I like to empower people to make mistakes. That's one of our number one core values at Thought Leader is to fail forward. And so I think that takes a lot of the pressure off when you know that like, it's okay, I'm human. It's okay to be human. It's okay to trip over my words. It's okay to take a moment to let the emotion really sink in and then speak from my heart. And that's that's probably the, the next piece is just speak from your heart um, and know that the things that are on your mind that you just assume, everybody knows this. There's no need for me to say it. Everybody understands this concept. There's no need for me to teach it. It's not true. Something that you were that you know deeply inside of you may not be something that I know deeply inside of me. So also never discount your message and know that every word and every story that you have to share is valid and important and needed. Fail forward. Hmm. That's something in today's world. You hear things like helicopter parents and you don't want your kids to fail. And you're saying it's okay to fail. In my opinion, I think that's really the only time you truly learn something is when you fail, because then you learn and can grow from that experience. Do you find that to be true? Absolutely. I completely agree as, um, you know, in my position at work and then also as a parent, <laughs> I, I really have. And, and that's the thing too. I, I've come face to face with like really having to embrace that. Is that really a core value? Am I going to let my child fail? Am I going to step back and not intervene and let this be a learning moment. And so I think as a parent and then also um, as a coach that uh, it's really important that even when I, I know I could step in and save things in the moment, that I'm able to let them happen as they do. So we, then we can talk through and walk through, um, you know, the process of what happened and how we can change it moving forward. So it's definitely a core value that sometimes it's hard to always buy into because it's easy to want to save things in the moment, but I, I agree with you. It's so necessary and it's really um, one of the only ways we're able to learn. If someone wants to learn more about Thought Leader and what you do, where do they find that information? Where do they go? If you go to thought-leader.com forward slash training, you can learn all about the training that we provide. Easy enough. Brittany Belts, we appreciate you taking time and, and hopefully We'll pull a little bit more out of people's shells by what you've had to say today. Thank you so much for joining us.
Thanks for joining me today for Biz TV's Create, Build, Manage. Do you have a message that you want to get out into the world? Thought Leader has helped many aspiring motivational speakers land TEDx talks. From their virtual talk practice club to speaker certifications and TEDx style coaching, Thought Leader will help get your message out into the world where it belongs. For more information, visit thought-leader.com. Stay tuned to Biz TV for more stories that educate, enlighten, and empower.